Wissiak coming to you live from Holding the Hope Central in Battleground, Washington. And I uh, am back to you today because I feel like I finally have something to say. Uh, it's been a while since I felt like I've really had something to say, and today I do. And I want to thank my brother, Steve Jad, because he uh, sent me this message. It was a little tiny clip of him. Uh, he's an extraordinary artist of him playing uh, David Crosby song. And so I was like, oh my gosh. And I remembered something that uh, David Crosby wrote. It was a line in one of his songs. And it's called, and this, the line is, uh, I'm not given in an inch to fear. And I remembered how that line changed my life. And it wasn't when I was a teenager that it changed my life. It was when I was older and I reconnected with this music and I started to listen to it again and I realized, holy cow, these guys were onto something. Now, I'm going to age myself a little bit because here's what I've discovered. Recently, I came into a, a vinyl collection and so I've become a vinyl file, whatever whatever that is. I, I love the vinyl. I've got a, a record player with the needle. and um, Anyway, so, um, so I, I got out that CD, that, that's that record. I got out that LP 33 and a third long playing record deja vu Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. And I put it on my record player and I turned the volume up really high and I tapped into that young girl in Ohio in her bedroom playing her big sister's records and then stealing her big sister's records because they were so fantastic. It was just, she was four years older than me and her music was what I really connected with more than the music of my age. My age was Aerosmith, which, you know, pretty awesome too, but different. And so, and so for half an hour, 45 minutes in my living room, I stood there because, you know, it, it, the music of this era was not background music. It was intentional, it was an event. And so you sat around and you listened to it. You might have been baked out of your mind when you were listening to it, but it was an event and you listened to it. Uh, I may or may not have participated in that particular activity. Today in my living room, I was clearly sober listening to that music and it rocketed me back to that 14, 15 year old girl. Oh God, 12, 11, 12 year old girl with my, uh, my LP, you know, where the, the turntable flipped up into it and the speakers would come off and go, you all had one. If you're old, you had one. Anyway, listening to it with my mother yelling at me to turn it down. She's still in there. She's still in there. And I saw a poem from Catherine Van Boskirk on my live, of my Facebook feed. And she posted a poem about the golden thread. And it caught my attention because that's a term we use in behavioral health when it comes to charting, right? That golden thread goes through everything. This poem talked about the golden thread internally. And I tapped into that golden thread today in my living room, listening to Stephen uh, Stills and David Crosby and Graham Nash and Neil Young, listening to them, singing to my 65-year-old self and tapping into that 12-year-old girl. It's there. It's all there. Who we are is with us eternally. The, um, and that, to me, is recovery. When we can tap into everything of who we are and all we experienced, that internal, um, unblemished person is in there, regardless of how old they are, regardless of what experiences they've had. The person that we are intended to be, the essential essence of who we are, is always present and, and comes with us, right? So there's that old saying in the rooms, no matter where you go, there you are, right? And that was really kind of me today. No matter where I would go, here I am. And listening to this music and recognizing that it has been a theme in my life not to give in to fear. I hope that you today will go back into your childhood and find somebody, uh, find some music specifically that speaks to you, that says, hey, this is who you are. Remember how this music made you feel? And turn it up really loud so that your neighbors are pissed off. Pretend they're your mother yelling at you to turn it down. And just listen. You don't have to get baked. 
but just listen and let that internal silver thread vibrate. Let it turn gold, that silver, that golden thread that goes through us. Let it vibrate. Let it connect with all the other threads and weave a fabric that you know is in there and that keeps you strong and keeps you who you are no matter what happens and no matter what music you fall in love with after that you know that there's always that one song or that one artist that just speaks to you and plucks your golden thread have a fantastic weekend everybody